Stainless steel was invented in the early part of the 20th century. The key ingredient is chrome, which forms a protective oxide film on the surface. Originally called non-rusting steel, it amazed consumers because it didn't need to be polished. And today, the concept hasn't lost its luster. Stainless steel is made to look shiny and new, even though it starts from scratch. Old stainless steel is recycled to make new, giving trashed sinks, pots, and other refuse a new lease on life. Tons of scrap steel are fed into a roaring furnace, along with chrome and nickel alloys for added strength and rust proofing. Enormous electrodes heat the mix to the melting point, creating a dramatic fireworks display in the process. After several hours, the molten mix goes into a refining furnace. Pipes blast in argon gas and oxygen, converting some impurities to gas, and causing others to float to the surface for easy removal. A technician regularly checks the temperature and takes samples to make sure the chemistry is right. A bit more scrap is added to bulk up the mixture as it melts. The scrap also causes a chemical reaction that helps to fuel the refiner. The bubbling steel soup now flows out of the refining furnace. Rollers guide it as it's cast into a long mold. The result is a 75-yard long ribbon of steel. Torches cut it into shorter chunks called slabs. A worker writes identification information on each one using chalk designed for hot surfaces. Then, the slabs are hoisted over to another station to await further processing. After this break in production, the slabs are reheated to soften them up for more processing. By now, a rusty scale has accumulated on the steel surface. Workers pressure wash it away without cooling the hot metal. The slab shoots back and forth through a machine with rollers. A constant spray cools the rollers as they stretch the steel longer and thinner. It's now over 650 yards long, the length of a couple of city blocks. A spray of water cools the stretched steel a little, but not too much because it needs to be soft and flexible enough for coiling. This spool coils the strip tightly like a roll of toilet paper. Then the roll is transferred to another station. Here, the steel goes into a hot acid wash that removes the scale that's built up since the last cleaning. Burners in this machine also heat the steel, then slowly cool it. This relieves stress in the metal, softening it for further processing. The steel is now unwound into a machine that rolls it to the customer's specified thickness. Rolling the metal when it's cold also hardens it and closes its surface pores, making it shine. After one last cleaning, the stainless steel strips are gleaming, and the chrome in this steel combines with oxygen in the atmosphere to form that rust-preventing oxide film. Finally, rotating knives trim the edges and slit the steel to various widths, again to meet customer specifications. This job is now done, and it's a brilliant finish indeed.